Hi guys, it's Steffi from the Novelty Corner. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to some readathons for February. Even though I told myself I would stop participating in so many readathons, it turns out that I just can't help myself. I'm going to be talking about two today. One is the Bookweb Valentine's readathon, which takes place through the whole month of February, and also I will have my contemporary thon TBR. I'm going to talk about the Bookweb Valentine's readathon first, and I'm just going to talk about it really briefly. I am one of the hosts for one of the blog challenges in the month of February for this readathon, and my challenge will be going up on my blog on the 6th of February. My blog is always linked down below if you're interested. As I said, Bookwear Valentine's is a month long readathon for the whole month of February hosted by Chapter Kate. This year she has tried to incorporate as many different aspects of the book online book community as she can, including Instagram, book bloggers, and YouTubers. I will leave a link to her video. She's got all of her YouTube co-hosts as well as information about the readathon that you can check out so you can get more information from her because I'm only you know, doing one tiny part of it. It is a book bingo type of challenge. I will pop that on the screen so that you can check out all the different challenges. I'm not going to set a TBR specifically for this readathon because I've got so many other things that I'm reading and I'm just going to try and attach the books that I'm reading to the different prompts as I can and see where I get to with it. I'll probably do a more in-depth blog post about it. So again, feel free to check the link down below. There are lots of really cool aspects about this readathon. There was the option to sign up to have a butter reading partner, which I didn't do because I'm the person who reads books in a day and I make no apologies for that it just makes it a little bit hard to do buddy reads but she's also set up a book cupid book swap so everyone who signed up for it gets paired with someone and you send them a book and maybe some bookish some small bookish items and it's like receiving a gift in the month of February so I have signed up for that I haven't yet heard at the time of filming this who my book cupid recipient is yet but that will be happening later in the month so yes I'll leave all the links for that down below you can check it out I will update you throughout the month when I finish challenges for the readathon but for now I'm going to share with you the readathon that I have a complete TBR for which is the contemporary thon this is round six it is hosted by Chelsea Julie and Natasha it runs from the 10th of February until the 16th of February. This year they have decided to revisit previous challenges that they have really really liked. There are seven challenges total. I ha currently have five books to fit six of the challenges. I have not picked a book for the last challenge yet because I'm waiting to see what other people are recommending for this particular challenge because the challenge I have not fulfilled, I have not picked a book for yet, is reading a book that is beloved by a member of the book community and I just need to wait and see what sort of contemporary books other people are recommending that I haven't read and that I'm interested in reading. So aside from that the other challenges include a colour challenge and this year it is to read a book with green on the cover. For that I'm going to read Underdog Love Oswaye Short Stories edited by Tobias Madden. This is a collection of stories that was released last year. I still have not read it yet so I am putting it on this TBR so I do read it. This book I am also going to use to fit the challenge to read a diverse read. There are quite a few diverse authors in this collection so I'm going to be using it for both. For the challenge to read a new to you author I'm going to read The M Word by Brian Conahan. I received this unsolicited for review from Bloomsbury way back last year and I thought this would be a good opportunity to pick it up because I've never heard of this author. I don't really know anything about this book. I have a feeling it's probably more along the lines of a thriller or a mystery contemporary so that will be interesting. The next challenge is to read a backlist title which is something that has been on your shelves for a year or more. I mean this is a little bit challenging for me because for the contemporary thon I've tried to pick things that are on my physical TBR and I don't have any contemporary books that are exactly 12 months old so I just went to the next available month so this is not quite 12 months old but it is a backlist title for me it was 2019 release and that is Attraction by Ruby Porter. I received this in a book swap and I don't know all that much about it except that it was very very well very very well loved by the person who was swapping it so I'm looking forward to reading it. Then you have the challenge to read a dark or hard-hitting contemporary for that I have picked The Lost Man by Jane Harper which is a crime mystery book so I think that that fits. And finally there is the challenge to read an contemporary with an illustrated cover. For that I'm going to read The Surprising Power of a Good Dumpling by Wai Chim. This I have been meaning to read ever since I purchased it and I still have not done it yet so I need to get on that. So that is my contemporary thon TBR so far. If you would like to try and convince me to read your favourite contemporary book feel free to do so in the comments. I'm quite happy to have people make recommendations and I will see if I can find something that I'm interested in that fits that challenge. Otherwise let me know if you're participating in Contemporary Thon and what you're planning on reading. I would love to know what's on your TBR. I hope that wherever you are in the world you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.